Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever found yourself staring at an SQL database filled with unexpected rows? It can be frustrating when duplicates sneak in and mess up your results. It can be due to faulty entry or some error in primary key declaration or just a messy query. But don't worry, in this video we'll be talking about how to identify duplicates, how to remove them and we'll also be leveraging advanced functions such as distinct and row number. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump into the world of duplicates. So here you can see we have a table which is the input table which is having ID column, salary column and increment date column. So the problem is to identify and find the duplicates and remove the duplicates based on the latest date. So here you can see in the input table ID 1 appears twice and ID 4 also appears twice. So there is some sort of duplication which is happening in ID 1 and ID 4. And if you look at this table basically, this table is a salary table which is having the details of every individual salary and the date of their increment. Now let's try to investigate why the duplicates are arising here. So here if you can see for ID 1, we have two records, one with salary 10,000 and the other one is with the salary 20,000. But for the first record, the increment date is 1st of Jan 2023 and for the second record, the increment date is 1st of Jan 2024. For, so definitely from here, we can see that this is a time series based table and we'll be having records for every increment day. So we have to take records which are having the latest increment date. And also similarly for ID 4, we have two records. One is one record is for Jan 2023 and the second record is for Jan 2024. So in this case also, we have to take the latest record, which is Jan 2024. On, on the output table, we have to identify all the IDs which are having duplicates. And in this case, we have ID 1 and ID 4, which are having duplicates. And also we have to populate the final salary post removal of duplicates. So here you can see in ID 1, we got the latest salary, which was 20,000. And also for ID 4, we got the latest salary, which was 10,000. So I hope you are clear with the question. You can pause this video here and think about the approach before diving into the solution. So here I'm running some initial set of commands in which I'm creating a table and, and inserting values into the table. So let's see how, how this table looks like. So here you can see we have serial ID column, then we have ID and we have salary and increment date. Serial ID is basically a, a primary key for this particular table. The first thing that we have to do here is we have to filter out all the IDs which is having duplicates. So let's start writing a code for this. So for this I'll write select from, so the table name is salary increment. So the approach that I'm planning to take here is I'll group on ID column and I'll count the total number of rows which are coming for that particular ID. And in this way, I'll be getting all the record, all the IDs which are having duplicates. So let's try to execute this. So I'll write select ID from salary increment group by one and I'll aggregate the ID based on count star. So count star is basically going to count all the occurrences of the ID column. So here you can see that ID one, which was coming two times, we are getting count star as two and ID four, which was coming two times, we are getting the count star as two for rest. All the IDs, we are only getting one. So the, now we only have to take those IDs in which the count star is greater than equal to two. I'll write having count star greater than equal to two having is nothing but a where condition post a group by so let's try to run this so here you can see now i have got id1 and id4 which were the duplicate ids by this way basically you can find out all the ids which are having duplicates and probably you can remove the duplicates in the next step let's now try to understand how we can remove these duplicates let's have a look at the table once again so here you can see for ID one, I have two occurrences and my next job is to filter out the latest occurrence. So I'll be doing that by using a row number function. If you're not very clear about the concept of how row number rank and dense rank work, 
you can visit my previous video which is pinned on the top right corner of this video i'll do a select star comma plus i'll write a row number condition here so i'll write row number and i'll do a over partition clause so in this case we'll be partitioning by id column and since we want the latest occurrence so we'll be ordering the increment date descending as row number from salary increment so let's try running this out and see how the output looks like so here you can see for id1 now i am getting two both of the records are coming together as row number one and row number two but the latest increment date is now getting assigned row number one and also in case of id4 i am getting two occurrence and the latest occurrence is getting assigned the row number one so my next job is to filter out all the IDs with row number one. So I'll put this into a CTE. So I'll write with base as, so I'll get this base and here I'll write select ID column, then salary and increment date from base where rn is equal to 1. So I'll run this and now you can see that the output table is having no duplicates and also for the IDs which are previously having duplicates, we are getting their latest entry. Hope you are now clear with the concept of how to handle duplicates and if you are encountering duplicates, how you can remove these duplicates using a row number clause. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be coming up with more such videos and if you want me to solve any question, do drop your questions in the comment section. Thank you.